In June 2016, Beth Kamia was named as the Minister for Kampala. She would serve in this position until December 2019, when, in a cabinet reshuffle, she took the lands, housing and urban development docket. Kamia had been a member of the Opposition Forum for Democratic Change Party before she founded the Uganda Federal Alliance, a group she abandoned when she joined the present Sevenese government. This time, Kamia's name was not included on the new cabinet minister's list. She has been appointed as the senior presidential advisor on land matters. So now, I don't blame the president at all. The people of Uganda participated in the president's decision not to make me a minister. Because he needs, apart from all, people who work hard, he also needs votes in parliament. So I, I, it's not the president, it's really the voters of Rubaga who did not appreciate me. Kamia does not regret joining the NRM, saying she has achieved a lot in the short time she has been in the party. My entrance into politics was always to be in government so that I participate in decision making, in policy formulation, in budgeting. Those are the things that a politician wants. So if you're in the position for 30 years and you never get to do that, then I don't know what you're doing in politics. So I decided to join NRM because NRM is going to be in government for a long time. In 2016, the former minister promised to mobilize for and deliver the Kampala vote by 80% to NRM in 2021. President Njagala Okweyama, Ntingabu Watukwasa Kampala, President Nkumi Bidimu Mwabidi Mugumu, Kampala Ogenda Kufuna Chinana Kuchikumi, Obokwe Yongeda Wakudu. Sadly, this was not achieved as most seats went to the opposition National Unit Platform Party. She says, the dynamics changed because of the COVID-19 pandemic, but is hopeful that in the future the NRM will regain its popularity in the capital. Talk stopped about the roads. Talk stopped about all these other things that government has done. Then the talk was centered on the poverty, on the hunger, on the lockdown. Kamia dismissed talk that President Museven uses opposition members by appointing them cabinet ministers, explaining that he considers their potential. In my view, the president sees your potential in the opposition and fishes you to join NRM and gives you an opportunity. The opportunity he gives you, say as a minister, for five years, it is also to show the electorate that you are a hard-working, worthy leader. Kamia says that though she left the Uganda Federal Alliance, which she founded, she is still in touch with the members. I explained to them that I needed to be in government because that's where policies are made, that's where decisions are made, that's where budgets are made. I mean, you can't spend 30 years of your life without ever participating in decision-making in policy formulation, in budgeting. What are you doing? And while she was Minister for Kampala, her achievements included, among other things, the construction of roads and amendment of the KCCA Act to create the position of a speaker, among others. You have driven through the road network here. Five years ago, this was a run-down, muddy, dirt, potholed environment around here. But in five years, and I want you to show the people on TV when you're going away, the road network around this place. She blames the rise in land evictions on laws that allow courts to issue eviction notices without following procedure. Eviction of people from the land is not so much an executive function as a judicial process, as a judicial process. But we are planning and I will hand this over to my colleague, Honorable Nabakova, to bring proposed amendment to tighten the news, the screws, on acquisition of land and uh, eviction.
As she awaits her confirmation as senior presidential advisor on lands, the former minister says she has embarked on taking care of her farm, giving her investments more time, and spending with her family. Jumakiri, uh, NTV.